Well, have we got a story to tell you today? Oh, ho, ho, ho. have we got a story to tell you today? So anyway, we're coming up the 41. It's one of them horrible roads. Nobody really can pass each other. Now and again, a bit of a dual carriageway comes. This thing's twisty and bendy, dual carriageway, but it's one of those roads. Nobody really can pass each other. Anyway, it was uh, six o'clock this morning. Um, uh, the 30th of the 8th, 23. Anyway, let's uh, let's crack on. Look, so uh, Jevons Eurotour decides to pass. Fine, no problem, here I am. We've caught him up. I'm keeping a good gap, he wants to go in there, no big deal. So here he comes, here he comes. And then, oh shit, oh sh sugar. Your door's open, mate, your door's open, oh, it happens, it happens. It won't be the first door or the last door we'll ever see open. It's funny for it to be this door, because usually this door um, holds that one shut. So whether it's a bit of old age, um, not quite caught it, for whatever reason, they're, they're pretty flimsy doors. We'll see that as we go along. But anyway, the damn things managed to escape. So, I'm behind him now, and you'll hear what I'm up to. So, doors open, and we've come to the end of the dual carriageway, so it's not that I can put my foot down and get alongside him and do anything. Beep, 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 I'm going. Which isn't, beeping at that point, pretty pointless, because uh, you, you're not, he's not going to hear you. He's not going to, you know, so... What have I got to do? I've got to get up behind him. I've got to get up behind him, tell him that his door's open. So uh, the old toe is down. There's still a bit of catching him. Door's open, yeah! I'm shouting at the cab, obviously he can't hear me. And the trouble is, you see, the wind, the wind, is, he can't see it. He's got no chance, he's got no way of seeing it. It's not even banging, is it? You know, you might get a chance if it was going bang, 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 bang. Like a container door, they make a hell of a row. But anyway, what would you do? How would you, uh, what would you do about it? Oh, I can't see the door. Your door's open. I'm shouting in the cab behind him and I'm going, Oi, your door's open. <laughs> what use that is, I don't know. Oh my God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? If there's a push bike, if there's a pedestrian, or if, the, if, he, if he gets near a push bike, he's killed him. You know, oh, the door is open and what can I do about it? I can do a sweet F.A. All I can do is get to him and bib him, right? So let's get close to him. Because, you know, we're on, we're all, doors open. doors open. Let's try and get close to him. Let's get, there's a bit of a few bends coming now. So hopefully he might see it, so. Yeah, this is a bendy bit. Slow down. I'm right behind him. Right. Let's see. Come on. Come on. He's got a swing. When he, yeah. That door's got to swing open when he goes around the bend. Yeah. When he swings around the corner, that door will open. He should see it. And do you know what the bloody door does? Just when you wanted to swing out and show him, it shuts. Look. You'd think it would swing out there, wouldn't you? He's around this corner of a bend and now it swings open. Oh, and it only swings open for a moment. If you weren't looking at that very, very moment, and you wouldn't be, you're never going to see your door. So, oh, what can I do? What can I, I'm so frustrated. How can I tell him his door's open and he's got no way of seeing it because the wind, the, you know, the, the flow of the wind along the side of the truck at the rate of we're doing 45, 50 miles an hour, that, 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 that door's not going to open. The wind will shut it always, won't it? What am I going to do? I'm thinking, what can you do? I'm trying to beep him, beep, 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 but I'm a bit too far back. I mean, if you had heard me, if that was somebody bibbing at me, I'd be thinking, hmm, what's going on? I'd be looking around, 
but you've, even if you're looking in their mirrors, you won't see that door open. And it's not exactly banging away, is it? Come on, I've got my indicators on, I've got my flashes on, get tugged over. Yeah. You could have gone in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how the hell do you tell him his door's open? <laughs> so, hmm. Anyway, before long, there's a bit of a roundabout coming up. You just hope there's not a push bike. Hope there's, well, a lightly, not lightly for anyone to be walking. Yeah, whoever, you, you'd, you'd have to be looking in your mirrors right at the very moment. It's not even sticking out, is it? You've got no way of knowing that door is open. No, because, you know, it's, it's a, you've got to have your, all your eyes to the front concentrating anyway. So we can't see it. And how can I tell him his door is open? And I'm sitting here behind him. See, he could have... If he knew, he would have just, yeah, he would have just pulled in there, slammed the door shut, carried on. How am I going to tell him his door is open? Yeah, if somebody's walking, stood by the door outside, walking a dog or something, and that thing swings out, he's killed them. At this rate or not, you know, the door. So... Oh. We've got a chance here. We've got a chance. Yeah, we're coming up to a roundabout. So we've got a chance. We're, we're able to get close to him. I'm so, I'm so... Ah, oh, your door's open, your door's open. Anyway, right, come on. Make a plan now. Let's, let's get it. Look, he's got his mirrors. He's keeping it out of his mirrors. And when it does swing out, if you're not looking at that very moment, you're going to see it. Poor bugger. How can you tell him and... You know, oh, it's not as if you're in a fast car, you can pass him and put the brakes on in front of him and tell him his door's open. What the, what am I, yeah, roundabout's coming right. The plan is now, get up behind him, start bibbing. So we must know, you must know now there's something going on. I'm flashing behind him. Listen, trying to tell him. That's a friendly bib, isn't he? He looks, the bloody door shuts when I want him to look in the mirror. The bloody door shuts. Oh. Now, yeah, pull over, mate. Pull up. And I'm sort of gesturing through the... Yeah, I tried to give him full blast when his door was at his side so he'd see it. But he completely ignores that. Completely ignores it. What the hell? What can you do? What can you do? So anyway, here we go. A van, a van goes by. They are look, and the van. See. And then another van comes by. He's got a passenger. Watch this van. This van. This. Watch his arm come out. His arm is waving. See the arm is waving. So the bloke is breaking, the arm is waving. So you'd think there's something up. You'd think, oh, oh yeah, there must be something hanging on. There must be something broken. And I'm out here flashing and bibbing him. He's, oh, you've got to. You, what an idiot. You should have at least had a look thinking, what the hell's going on? Anyway, I have to go right here. So I let this car go by. Yeah. He won't even stop and look and check. No. Or a bad driver. Yeah, he should have at least looked and checked or been thinking about it. But he's completely ignored all the help that we've tried to give him. And we're going to go over here now. Let this car go by, I think. Yeah, let's get over here. And he's on his way. That's terrible, that is. That's yeah? That is. That's okay. What the, what the hell can you do? Okay, what can you do? How can you tell him? He can't really, to be fair, he couldn't see it. He had no chance of seeing it. But if somebody bibbed and watched it at me for quite a while, I'd be thinking, hmm, there must be something dropping off. A mudguard must have gone. A tyre must be flat. There must be some sort of a issue somewhere. So then the next 
opportunity I would get, I would pull in and just have a walk around. Even if it wasn't me, if it was somebody else or something else, I've done that often. I've heard something, I've pulled over just in case and nothing happened. What do you think? What do you think? So yeah, we tip quite often, but we don't load. Don't very often handball load them. Uh, this is all powder. Yeah. Going off to somewhere like India or whatever. Fly me. Yeah. See, some countries won't accept pallets. Some countries, different regulations, one thing or another. Hmm. There's a good few bags in there, isn't there? Just a few. <laughs> Just a few, yeah. Just a few. Wow. It'd have to be labelled, obviously, and then go and handle it. Oh, yeah, no problem. So, what's that going? Where's that going? It's in India. Oh, India? Yeah. Oh, and. Um, and you're the you're the vet, aren't you? I'm the vet, yeah. You you do whatever you've got to do. So what I do is first there's a, there's a couple of things. I need to verify that it is what it's supposed to be on the paper, oh. but that's only part of the job. So we have to go back. Yeah. And on these bags, in fact, I took a picture of it before it went on, but you'll see doo -doo -doo -doo, this like a batch so number. So you see that there? Oh yeah. You go home and look at your milk yeah. or your meat, and they'll all have a number, a, a, an oval mark like that, oh. and from anywhere. But from that, you can then trace it back to where Blimey. it came from. Blimey. And so we've got to make sure that it complies. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. But it's got to have that on it. If you 